to get their checkout page additional script you will August 2025 so the new option is we have to use customer event enable data layer for Google Tag Manager or whatever so I was post on LinkedIn regarding this solution like how can we enable data layer with the new way using customer event and I also share the data layer but which was some limitation so in today's video I'm going to share with you the step by step guide how can we enable Google Tag Manager data layer with the Shopify new update and I also share with you a code which is completely free you have to just copy and paste and in the data layer all of this necessary inventory in quotes which is view item add to cart check out purchase remove from cart newsletter from subscribe also like uh, i mean all kind of necessary inventory in code i will add all of this necessary link in this video description the code link also all of this necessary others link so let's see how can we implement this data layer and before starting this i want to say which is like this is little bit tricky and if you are non-technical guy as a business owner or advertiser this is like hard for you so if you are looking someone who can set up for you all of this necessary tracking for example google ads conversion tracking server tracking dynamic remarketing facebook pixel and conversion api google and text server tracking so you can contact with me by description link so i can help you with that so yep let's see how can we implement this data layer based on shopify new update so let's see first step how can we connect Google Tag Manager with our uh, Shopify store. So to connect Google Tag Manager with Shopify store, we have to first go to our Google Tag Manager and tagmanager.google.com and create an account. So and then after creating an account, you will see an option which is like in here GTM code and if you don't know how to create google tag major account you can see my previous video where i show how can you create google tag major account and then just click in here the code google tag major code and what google tag major say which is we have to paste the code in our website as possible head section and we have to paste this code in our website body section to connect google tag major with our website so you have to also log in your shopify, your shopify website so backend admin panel so i already log in in my shopify website admin panel here you can see so if i now go to google tag major and copy this code and then if i now go to my shopify store what shopify says uh, what google tag major say which is we have to paste this code in our shopify store head section so we have to go to in our online astro theme section and then you have to click in here our current theme in their edit code so in the layout folder under you can see a file which is called theme.liquid liquid so you have to click in here and then you have to paste this code in head section here so the next we have to paste to google tag major body code but which is not actually required but this is actually good practice see if i copy this code from here and visit in here scroll down and then if i see in here body section code so here the our head section close and the body section is start from here see if i paste in here the body section code and i have to click in here save and okay and i hope now our website with google tag major properly connected so to verify is this properly connected or not we have to go to google tag major and then you have to click in here uh, preview and when you click in here preview google tag major ask in here to paste your website url so i simply paste my website url and click in here connect so here you can see google tag major preview to connect with your website connecting and yep if i now go to here here you can see this is connected and here you can see all of this necessary data so now google tag manager with our shopify store properly connected but if i check any product like click in here this product uh i know and go to preview uh, google tag manager preview mode again and here i cannot see any data layer like view item and if i like also in here add to cart here i should say like add to cart even but i just connect google tag manager with our website so to to see in here this data layer we have to enable data layer actually so which is 
see video part right so to enable data layer you have to you, you can see this file in my video description so you have to visit this uh notion docs uh, notion notion file and then here is have all of this necessary code to enable data layer but to enable uh before uh, enable the data layer i want to say which is this data layer created by uh hasanud jaman so yeah md hasanud jaman which is the founder and owner of the leo major so yep all credits goes to him and to create the data layer you have to just follow this step here is the source of the code we have to just follow this step which is create unlimited data layer sniff it use exact name case in copy and paste the below code okay so we have to we have to go to our shopify store and in here we have to go to again our theme section and theme file editor under and in here we have to add a new file which is called uh, which is called our unlimited data layer or like okay so we have to click uh, we, we have to create in here a file in our snippet folder under so to create file in snippet folder under you have to first click in here snippet not section okay not section folder under we have to create this okay so now the part of enable the data layer so the data layer created by hasanud jaman md hasanud jaman who is the owner of leo major you know so all credits goes to him so to create the enable the data layer here you can see also the data layer source so to enable the data layer we have to first create a file which is in our website uh snippet folder under see so if i go to our website and click in here snippet not section now remember we have to create this folder in snippet folder under so click in here add new snippet and here we have to write this file name so the file name make sure write exactly make sure write this file name exactly this name if i go to step 2 here you can see uh, ultimate data layer so make sure you write this file name exactly this ultimate ultimate data layer and then click in here done so so here our file now created we can see in here so we have to go to the docs again and then we have to hey if you're running paid ad i have a quick question for you is your conversion tracking working flawless even with ad blocker or is water restriction the reason i'm asking is simple without proper conversion tracking your ads could miss your ideal customer this is technical setup and that's why i come into help i help over hundreds of businesses just like you click the button below to book a one-on-one -on -one call or message me directly on whatsapp if it's urgent copy this code if i copy this code and we have to paste this code in here so this is a step one and a step two which is which is if i go to in here step two we have to add this code in all page under so just copy this code from here and then go to our uh go to our layout folder under theme.liquid file and make sure you paste this code after our google tag major code in here and then click in here save so in your theme section all of this work uh, i mean all of this is step done so we have to see this step three which is we have to add go to our customer event so just click on here settings and scroll down here you can see customer event and i already connect a code so i have to just uh, disconnect this code click in here disconnect so now i have to click in here add custom pixel and then write in here custom pixel name for example gtm data layer okay and then click in here add pixel and then we have to go to the docs again and copy this step 3 code and paste in here but make sure 
make sure you change this google tag major tag uh google tag major container id so just go to your google tag manager and here you can see this id just copy this id from here and then visit your shopify store and replace this uh, google tag manager container id to your original gtm container id so you can also click in here and then copy from here so yep and make sure save this file and also connect this file click in here connect again so to enabling it is to enable data layer all of this step we complete and now we will verify is this data layer properly working or not so to verify our data layer properly enabled or not you know we have to go to technology.google.com and then if i like now see a product like for example click in here a product i should now see view item event in my google tag major preview mode if i visit in here and here you can see not see any view item event because i not i mean uh read i not preview google tag major again after paste to this code so we have to click in here preview again and yeah connect so here we should see now if our all of this code properly add here we should now see view i mean all of this necessary data view item data layer uh, appear in here and if i click in here and if i click in here data layer dot the api call or if i go to data layer and here you can see all of this necessary data with the data layer event like currency items information all of this items area under all of this data value so if i like click in here add to cart so i should now see add to cart event in there so here you can see add to cart event also we properly uh find in here so if i now like uh view cart this product and if i visit in here here you can see view cart event with this data layer uh, all of this data and for example if i now last uh if i now click in here checkout here we should now see checkout event yeah you can see begin checkout event also if i like add in here add in here payment info also shipping info here you can see now okay here we should now see add payment info yeah you can see in here add shipping info and if i finally purchase this product which is our main goal okay pay now so now we purchase this product and here we should i mean in our google tag manager preview mode we should see purchase event if i go to in here so yep here you can see the purchase event and yep just not only purchase event with the purchase event we also see in here all of this user data like user address city country country code also all of this necessary data in here in code so now we can set up enhanced conversion tracking for google Earth with our google Earth conversion tracking also we can send this data in phase with our facebook conversion api tag to increase our event match quality in meta also we can set up any platform enhanced conversion tracking and we can send this data in our any analytics and advertising platform so if you want to learn also how can we send this data in our how can we set up google analytics 4 using the data layer or also how can we set up google Earth's conversion tracking how can we set up service tracking you can see my other video in the channel in this channel so yep so thanks for watching this video and if you need any help with uh, tracking feel free to message me and yep you can see in my other video like how can we set up dynamic marketing tags using google tag manager uh, using the data layer also how can we use custom loader to bypass ad blocker and ice portal restriction and others all of this necessary uh other sort of this tracking related video you can see in here my youtube channel like go high level funnel tracking this, tra this kind of video so